Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're talking about alternatives to wearing jeans. Now it's fair to say that nowadays most people turn to a pair of jeans uh, for when they're going out in a casual setting uh, but this video is about using alternatives to just wearing jeans. Uh, jeans historically uh, were designed to be workwear and if you are wearing them even in this day and age as a form of workwear then there's not really any requirement to iron them or even wash them very often because they are a form of overall. However nowadays people more and more wear jeans and when they wear jeans with a sports jacket or they zhish it up a bit with some other jumper or a small jacket or even a coat then it becomes more of the normal everyday dress where people wear jeans and therefore nowadays it's almost an expectation if you dress in that manner that you dye on your jeans so this uh, video is actually more instilled by a member of uh, my subscribers who uh, volunteered the information that they don't wear jeans, they, they wear trousers or they wear alternatives. And uh, I thought that would be a good subject for us to explore in more detail because there are many alternatives to wearing jeans. Jeans weren't that common to be worn in the UK, they were more an American thing, uh, which sort of stemmed from the 50s, really. Uh, so if you go forward further than the 50s, most people still wore uh, dress trousers, uh, they were still wearing tweed, rough tweed uh, trousers for everyday workwear. And wore overalls over that, cotton, cotton uh, overalls over that. So to start with, let's have a look at some alternatives. Today I'm wearing, as you can see, a pair of grey Prince of Wales check trousers with a red overcheck. They're very much in at the moment and you see variations of this in a lot of high street stores. Um, I've paired that with a burgundy tie, a grey uh, sleeveless jumper, uh, some call it a tank top, and I'm wearing a white dress shirt. So, and with that I paired it with a pair of black derby shoes which have got uh, details in them of broguing. This is more for um, an informal work sort of outfit. Um, goes really well. I think you'll uh, agree that it's a good alternative to wearing jeans in that type of setting. Of course, if you didn't want to look quite that formal with a tie, you could ditch the tie, ditch the jumper, maybe wear a roll neck jumper or a turtle neck jumper. But I would pick out the colours in the overcheck. So for example a burgundy or berry coloured uh, roll neck jumper would look ideal with this. And it's a very informal look and still very much in vogue at the moment. So let's have a look at some other alternatives to just the straightforward trousers. So... Um, Today I'm wearing a different pair of uh, trousers. Um, grey flannels are uh, a go-to. Um, they uh, go well with the blazer or just casually as I'm wearing them today. Um, I'm pairing them with a pair of, uh, of uh, burgundy shoes and I'm wearing a simple berry coloured roll neck jumper or turtle neck jumper. Um, very versatile. They go with just about anything you want to wear. 
browns, uh, blacks, particularly good, greys as well. Um, they come in different colours as well, so uh, some people know them as slacks, um, but they are very versatile and they go really well instead of jeans in a casual setting. So another day, another look, and uh, today we're looking at, instead of wearing jeans, maybe a pair of chinos. They come in a variety of colours, but if it gets a little bit cooler, for example in spring and uh, autumn, then consider wearing something a little bit different. And here we have a pair of cavalry twills. And uh, as you can see, I've paired that with a tweed waistcoat and a pair of uh, burgundy shoes, brogue shoes. And it gives it an informal look. Um, another way we could do that is to actually dress up a bit more. You could wear um, a waistcoat, a tweed jacket, a tie, and uh, lift it a little bit and make it a little bit more formal um, than the casual look without the tie. So here we have uh, replaced the tie, or put a tie on, waistcoat, picking up some of the yellow colours in the actual tweed jacket, along with the uh, cavalry twill trousers and the uh, burgundy uh, brogue shoes. And that gives it a completely different vibe, albeit still informal. It's a little bit more than just uh, an open collar shirt and uh, just a pair of... Uh, cavalry twill and a waistcoat so it's another way of dressing it up a little bit and uh, if the cut of the jacket is good it really does make a lot of difference so uh, yeah another look another day without jeans so on this occasion we're wearing cords as an alternative to jeans um, wearing a shirt and a striped tie uh, and we've paired that with uh, some burgundy brogue shoes. Uh, you could also put a cardigan or a jumper over this and it gives it uh, more of an autumn winter vibe. Uh, so here we've used a shawled uh, cardigan. It is uh, cable knit nice and thick, goes really well with the colour scheme and the cords, although they uh, are a little bit contrasting, they still give it a really nice smooth look. So uh, as you can see here, the cords go well with the dark blue and the burgundy shoes. So here, one final look at uh, wearing cords, uh, corduroys. Um, now, as you can see, I've paired it with uh, this duck egg blue and brown patterned jumper. Used a blue shirt, striped shirt, to pick out some of the colours in the uh, complement the shirt, uh, sorry, jumper and uh, also paired the cords with uh, the brown brogues or the burgundy brogues. Now you could also use moleskin trousers which effectively are best way of describing them as corduroy trousers without the ribbing uh, so they're completely flat and smooth uh, and quite woolly in texture. They are great in the winter months and they come in a variety of colours as well. So you can get the contemporary colours of navy, khaki, sand, but also into the extreme colours of uh, lemons, pinks and reds. So one other thing is potentially consider the use of tweed trousers. Now they give texture in a number of ways. Uh, one in the pattern or in the weave, um, and also the colours in that are used in it. Uh, so that's another way of creating a, a good 
look an alternative to wearing jeans. If you enjoyed the video then give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe then please do so. Um, we love constructive comments so if you'd like to make a comment just put it down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, if you want notifications just hit the bell and until next time take care.